I first became uh, a big follower of yours from In Living Color. I mean, to this day, I, I'm arguably, it's one of the greatest comedy sketch shows, in my opinion, on I mean, it was just absolutely fantastic in Living Color. Jim Carrey, you, yeah. the Wayne brothers, Jennifer Lopez was a fly girl. You know, it goes, Rosie Perez, it goes on and on. Yeah. But your book is titled Living in Color. Why, first of all, did you want to write this memoir? And what do you want to communicate to people? Well, I wrote it because my sister called me one time and said, why don't you ever mention our mother in interviews? Mm. You know? And I was like, get out of my face. Like, why are you telling me? Because my sister is always my sister, you know? And I thought about that and I said, wait, wait a second. The reason why I don't mention her is because I had a shame cycle way back in my formative years as a kid. Mm. And it was embarrassing both ways. You know, when my, when my mother showed up to school, all the black kids changed towards me. Mm. When I showed up to lunches or, or gatherings with them, people would look at me with shame. Mm. So if they weren't around, then I wouldn't have to deal with that. If I never mentioned them, then I wouldn't have to deal with that. Wow. So I never mentioned it really because it turned into this whole thing. Your adoptive mother, I mean, how did she feel was she, that you were never really mentioning her? I mean, was she hurt? Did She never expressed it to you? <laughs> No, nah, man, that's the thing about my family. That's the beautiful thing about my family. And I think it's a beautiful thing about our country. And I think it's the one thing that's being not being acknowledged is is all the all the well meaning white Americans that have got a drop of racism in them. You know what I mean? And see everybody as everybody. Yeah. And I happen to come from one of those those white American families. Yeah. Uh, my grandfather was the first one to tell me when we were playing Cowboys and Indians when I was four that the Indians were the heroes. Mm. Wow. Make sure that they win. Wow. But he also said, and all cowboys didn't kill Indians. And he was a cowboy from Wyoming. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So this is the type of family that, that, that I came from, where if you said any racial slur in my house, you got punished. You know, you couldn't say any of those words. I can't say them now, but right. you can't say any words referring to anybody that's different than you. Wow. And this was the, this was the key to, to, key to, to our whole family. Tommy, I, listen, I've known you for years. I've watched you for years. I did not know until I had your book, uh, all this, and uh, it is absolutely fantastic. Stay positive and keep spreading we'll love and, and a positive message. Thank you. Thank you. You do the same, man. All right, you man. Do the same. We've been connected since the Apollo, so you know this is a build. I'm so proud of you. Thank keep, you, man. Keep going, man. I will, man. Thank you Football so much. season starts and your season starts, bro. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Be sure to check out Tommy's memoir. It's called Living in Color. It's phenomenal. It's available now everywhere.